This is an Army Today Extra, an update with Army Chief of Staff General George Casey from Kenya. I'm Gail McCabe. We've made a lot of progress uh, in the last two years, uh, and in especially over the last 12 or 18 months. Um, but we still have a couple of tough years ahead of us. Uh, you, you'll recall that I said that one of the most important things that we could do to get ourselves back in balance is to increase the amount of time the soldiers spend at home in between the deployments. The next 12 or 18 months are, are going to be uh, uh, difficult because as we shift our emphasis from Iraq more toward Afghanistan, um, we will actually increase the number of troops we have deployed slightly by about 10,000 before we start coming down. You've also taken great strides on behalf of families. I, I think we have made great strides uh, in supporting families uh, since we released the Army Family Covenant in 2007. And we put our money where our mouth was and double the amount of money that we were putting toward soldier and family programs. We have made progress and we are quite conscious that we need to deliver on our promises. 2009 is the year that we deliver uh, on the Family Covenant. Soldier mental health is in the news. Suicides are up dramatically. What's the solution? Last year, uh, we had a, about 12,000 soldiers diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, and these are new, new diagnoses. That's good news, bad news. Bad news is it's a pretty high number, and it's double what it was two years before. Good news is more and more soldiers are comfortable that they can come forward and get help. Everything that our research tells us is that the sooner you identify that you have a problem, the sooner you get help, the sooner you get better. We will launch uh, a comprehensive soldier fitness program here later this summer. And we've been working on that you know, for over a year. And the purpose of the program is to raise mental fitness to the level that we now give to physical fitness. Because you can build mental resilience much like you build muscle mass. And the basis of this program is, is to give the soldiers the skills that will both enhance their performance and allow more and more of them to have a growth experience out of these difficult circumstances. In the two years that you've been Army Chief of Staff, what are you the most proud of and what still eludes you? That, that's a great question. Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm most proud of the resilience that our soldiers and families have shown as, as we've gone through a, a, a very difficult period. I mean, we are deploying the Army at rates that, that I would have thought are absolutely unsustainable. But the commitment of, of these men and women and, and their families uh, is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, President Obama recognized that in his inaugural address, and he held the American servicemen and women up to the up to the people of the United States as an example of selfless service. And so that's 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 what I'm most proud of. What's what's still eluding me? The thing that I'm I'm working hardest on that I, I haven't got where I want yet is uh, we we need to change our mindset about how we develop requirements within the Army. And, and we develop our requirements in a way that doesn't consider costs in terms of people uh, or dollars or, or equipment. So you're talking about better business practices for commanders? Not so much commanders just yet. I'm working the generals. Okay. A year ago, I started sending generals to business school at the University of, no of North Carolina because what I saw is exactly what's happening. I saw that in 10 or 11, I expected that our budgets were going to start coming down. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I took from this budget exercise on the 10 budget that we've just gone through with the department is we're doing an awful lot of things because we can, because the money is there. And we have to get better at doing things because it gives us the most value. Everything's important, and, and everything provides benefit. But we have to get better at assessing what gives us the most value for our precious resources. And uh, that's going to be a few more years before we get that mindset uh, in, in the entire army. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television, Atlanta.